Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. I just thought I'd show you three different assets which are all about a cavity effect. This can make your 3D assets look more stylized because it can help you play with the look and the feel of the shadows and the way that the texture feels around the recessed areas or the edges of your model. And I've got three different assets here today, one premium and two free. One of the free ones I couldn't actually get to work, but I'll put it down in the description and we'll go through them, compare them, and then you can make a decision on which one's going to be best for you. Do check out Unity sale on the Unity Asset Store. Free asset for this week. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So the first one I will mention is the one that I couldn't get to work even in URP, even though it says that it will. It's called Cavi Free and you can get this on GitHub and it does have a bunch of the cool effects. I think the cavity effect is very nice in the preview. So you have to let me know down below if you can get this one working. We're gonna look at the screen space cavity and curvature for all pipelines from the Unity Asset Store, which semi often goes on sale, but it's 24.99 and you can get support much more easily from the developer if you run into any problems. So the free one that does work is the URP screen space cavity, which you can also find on GitHub. And I will show you how to install this one. So now if we go back to the Unity Asset Store, you can see the screen space cavity and curvature Unity Asset, and we'll open this one in Unity. You can see it here. I'm just going to download and then install this package. Once you've installed the asset, you need to make sure that you go to the screen space cavity and curvature, and you will get the assets in here. Navigate to the SRP folder, and you'll see if something for HDRP or URP, double click the URP package and make sure you import those sample assets. You want to make sure that you go to your URP asset, which is not your renderer, whichever one you're using and make sure you enable depth texture. You can enable that on your camera if you want. Go to your renderer, add a rendering effect and add the SSCC render feature. And you will see the scene change, but you need to make sure that on this case, it's got no settings. We need to add ourselves our own volume. So I've just got an empty game object, right click, create empty, and it will be add a component. I'm just going to add one called a volume, and this will be our post processing. I'm just going to create a new post processing volume there, and you'll be able to see once I've selected that, you can add a new override and you can add the screen space cavity and curvature. You can see all the settings down here. You can press all to enable all of the settings. I'll zoom in on things slightly so you can make sure you can see it much better. If you want to disable this effect, you can set the intensity down to zero and you don't see anything, but we'll knock it up for now. There is a distance fade if you want this to disappear over a distance. We've got the curvature pixel radius so you can see how it affects based on the pixels. You've got the effect of the bright areas, so you can see that it affects these, these indented lines. And then the darker, now if we take the curvature brightness down and we select the dark, you can see that it almost stylizes the edges of our model where you'd expect shadows to be. Then you can select how much the cavity samples are, whether you want to saturate the cavity, which I think the darkened areas look good. You can affect the cavity radius on how far this effect would come out. Do remember that each of these settings do have a little tooltip or a subheading to tell you what they do. You can select the cavity bright, as you can see the edges of around the back of the character, and then the darks where you would expect the recessed areas to be. Then you can actually select the cavity resolution. There's some debug modes to be able to have the effect only, the normals, or just the default setting. And you can select whether this is on a screen space or on the actual shaders themselves. So this one has a lot more customization on the effect. As you can see, when I disable or enable this effect, and I have ramped these settings up quite a lot, but you can get something that looks a very subtle, extra stylistic effect to make it look like the objects are popping out the URP screen space cavity, which you can also find on GitHub. And if you need to get hold of this, you can navigate to the right hand side, which will be the releases tab. Once you go to the releases, you can click to download the screen space cavity unity package. Once that's in, you can just drag that package into your project and just import all of the assets in there. If you do need to do any updates to the materials, you can go to Window, Rendering, and Render Pipeline Converter and make sure you upgrade any of the materials that are relevant. But I wouldn't recommend upgrading any of the materials that are part of the actual shader 
because they're a custom shader material. Now, the way that you set this up in URP is if you go to your high fidelity renderer or any renderer that you use, you will need to add the screen space cavity effect and go to add render features and you can choose the screen space cavity render feature. And you can drop down here and it will only change if you're using the correct shader. And as you can see on all of these different platforms, it uses the polygon starter material. And you can see this is using the, the developer's name, the shader pack, and the toony lip, because you can see that it has an option to enable cavity. Then when you go on your asset here, you can say whether it's type, it can be both curvature and cavity. You can have the debug mode, so you can actually see this more easily. So you have the scale, which when we up, we don't see anything. You want to update the ridge, so you can see the very edges of the main parts of the model. You can select the valley, which will look at the shadowed or recessed areas of this to make it look a little bit like ambient occlusion, you could say. And you can adjust any of these along the way. For the actual curvature settings, for the cavity, you can increase or decrease that, and you can see it change on these walls and assets over here. The attenuation, a bigger pronounced effect over in the distance, and again, the, another one of the ridge, light or dark it is, the valley and then the samples to make this more accurate and if we take off the debug mode you can see it much more pronounced on here and if we enable and disable the effect you can see what it does but be prepared that i have over egged these settings and made them a little bit too pronounced remember this one's completely free on github so you can let me know down below if you've been able to use it and if you like it do remember to make sure that your material uses the one by default and has the enable cavity option so we'll put all the links below so you can check them out and you can decide and mess around with the free ones. And if you want to get the premium one too, it might be something because you will get better support. Be sure to check out Unity Sale, which is now on, which is some great new assets that have hit the asset store. Do be sure to come and check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And big thank you to all my patrons. Special thank you to Peter Steiner, Barry Shuther and Jennifer for their amazing support. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.